I swear there are like a million and one software options out there for writers, and so choosing one that would work best for you can be very overwhelming. In this video, I'm gonna share with you not all of them because that would be impossible and we would be here for hours and I wouldn't even be successful because there would be one that I missed, but I'm gonna share with you the ones that I personally have used that I really like and hopefully that will give you a place to start if you are a new writer looking for a platform to write your book on. I'm gonna give you a list, I'm gonna tell you what they cost, I'm gonna tell you what I think, and then I'm gonna leave it up to you to make a decision as to what you wanna do, because obviously you know yourself and what you need more than I do. And let's just get into it. The first writing program that I have used, that I still use, that I have used for so many years now, I don't even want to do the mental math to figure out how many years I've used it for, and that I highly recommend and love is Scrivener. Scrivener is an extremely popular writing software. Tons of people use it, and for good reason. One of the things I really appreciate about it is that it allows me to organize all of my chapters into folders. I can organize everything very easily, everything goes into its own bucket. I can see everything from a bird's eye view. If I had summary of different chapters, I can put them on these notes. It has so many features that I don't even really know how to use because it's such a powerhouse of a program. You can format books in here. You can like format them to paperback and export them if you want to self-publish. You can format them like as scripts. You can put it all in like your, in manuscript formatting. They're just a ton, a ton of different options for you. It even, you can export it to Vellum, which is the program that I use to format my books. Scrivener saves locally to your computer. I use Scrivener and then I back up my files to OneDrive because I use OneDrive as my backup for all of my books. What I love about it is that it was a one-time purchase. I purchased it when I was in high school. I have had it ever since. It was like $50 and it has served me so well. I like that I can just put things in buckets and then I can, when I'm drafting, just close the folder and I can forget what I drafted. And so for me mentally, that's really nice because I can just like dump everything I want into the bucket and then close out the folder and it will, it will be there at the end of it. But I don't need to just keep scrolling up and down when I need to make a change or when I have to toggle through chapters. Also, when I'm editing, especially when I'm working on my second drafts, it makes everything really quick because I can just remember, oh, this is in chapter 10 and I can scroll down, go to chapter 10, click on it and chapter 10 will pop up. Scrivener is available on Mac, on Windows, through iOS, which I guess is the App Store. A standard Scrivener license is $60. A student Scrivener license is $50, but that requires some sort of institutional affiliation. Once you have it, you can upgrade it from an older version too. Scrivener iOS is $23.99, and that is the app for both your phone and your iPad, so you can even write from your phone. I love Scrivener, I highly recommend it. I've used it for such a long time and that is by far my favorite software. So starting out strong with that one. The next writing software I use and have used for a really long time is Microsoft Word. Word is your old reliable word processor that is very standard, that has been around forever, that you can rely on to do its job. It doesn't have the same fancy bells and whistles as Scrivener has, like for toggling between things and you know all of the plotting things that you can do with Scrivener. In Word, you have to scroll up and down when you're, you have a major giant editing document and find all the different scenes and you know it's, it's a little bit more unwieldy. You can be working with a really bulky document. My first drafts are exorbitantly long. And if I'm working with a 200,000 word plus first draft, I find Scrivener a lot faster to get between the places that I need to be. And Word just becomes very bulky if I have that much text and I'm scrolling up and down in a document trying to find what I'm looking for but I do most of my later drafts in Word. I do my draft one, draft two maybe in Scrivener, and once I've cut it down to a manageable length, I will go to Word and I will use that. Because Word allows you to work in track changes, like I can send a document to my editor and he can send it back to me with track changes in it, and then I can accept or deny his changes and then put that into a Word document. I can't really do that on Scrivener. It makes it really difficult. So Word is the standard for working with editors and that's always what I use when I get to like drafts three plus. You can purchase Word for a one-time fee of $179.99. Or if you have a subscription, it can be made available as part of different subscriptions to different Microsoft plans. I pay a yearly subscription because I also use OneDrive to back up all of my folders and I use Excel and a bunch of other different Microsoft applications. Now moving on to one of the biggest free writing platforms out there, which is Google Docs. Pretty much everyone has access to Google Docs. It is essentially like Word, and I use it like Word, 
but it makes it a lot easier to share it between people. So if you wanna have people go in and leave you comments or changes or suggestions, it's a lot easier to do that on Google Docs and the changes can be live because it's on the internet instead of like a locally saved file. A lot of people will work with editors in Google Docs and I've seen that done before, but to me, I prefer using Word because I can locally save the files and then email them to my editor instead of having my editor log on to Google Docs to edit them in Google Docs. The only time I would use Google Docs to share anything is if I had to share one piece of writing with multiple people. So if I was using alpha readers, for example, and I wanted my alpha readers all to be able to access the same document and leave comments, then I would upload it to Google Docs and then I would share it with my alpha readers. I don't personally use alpha readers. It has never been good for my process. I like to edit the books until they are polished enough to be able to send to beta readers, but some people do really like using alpha readers and in that case, Google Docs would be a great platform for that. But only if you're okay with all of your alpha readers seeing each other's comments because you can't, to my knowledge, set it so that each commenter can only see what they commented. And Google Docs is free. Fourth writing software that I have used and have enjoyed is Atticus. Atticus is a one-stop shop for both writing and formatting. You can write your book in Atticus and you can also export it and format it for when you're publishing. It works both online and offline and all of the work is backed up in the cloud. I have only ever played around with it and I thought that it was very cool. I haven't used it personally to work on a book from beginning to end, but I know a lot of authors have and find it really good. Something I really do like about it is that you can write in it and then you can export your novel and format it. Like you don't need to import it into Vellum or anything like that. I personally use like Word and Scrivener and Vellum. That is my um, system that works for me. But Vellum is not available for non-Mac users and Atticus is. Atticus is a one-time purchase of $147, which is a more expensive upfront cost than say Google Docs, cause that's free or Scrivener, but Atticus also allows you to format and makes it really easy to export your book and upload it to all the different platforms when you're self-publishing. And it is significantly less expensive than Vellum, which is $249. I don't know how it would be to write in there. It would drive me crazy to write in a program like Vellum. So while it's possible, it might not be something that ends up working well for you creatively, but I haven't personally worked in it like that. So I can't speak to how it is to do that. If any of you have experience with Atticus, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what your experience has been. And I'm sure other people watching this video would too. And the fifth writing program that I really like that I wanted to mention in this video is Dabble. Dabble is structured a lot like Scrivener with the folders and the buckets but it also has a very cool feature which allows you to make plot grids within the writing software. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm obsessed with plot grids. I love plot grids. I'm the plot grid girl. And Dabble is the only major writing platform that I have found that operates both like Scrivener in a way that really scratches an itch in my brain and also incorporates plot grids. Everything you write on Dabble is automatically backed up into their cloud, and so you don't have to use an external backup like I do when I use Scrivener. There is a free trial, so you can see how you like it before you invest in it. However, it is a subscription model and not a one-time purchase. I am a big fan of Dabble. However, the reason that I haven't made the switch over to Dabble is because it is a subscription model. You can purchase it for a li lifetime access of $700 or $699, but I haven't felt compelled to make that investment because I already have a system that works. There are three plans. The basic plan is $9 a month. The standard plan is $19 a month. And the premium plan is $29 a month. It is a very, very cool writing software. And it's just a little bit higher on the budget side of things. They do have savings options. You can save 20% when you pay for the full year. You can also save 30% if you're a teacher or student, you get a teacher student discount. Moving on to editing programs that I use. The first one that I wanna talk about is Pro Writing Aid. Pro Writing Aid helps you edit your book and self edit your book by pointing out things like echoes and repetitions and redundancies and overused words, as well as grammar and spelling issues. It has a lot of other features and I know that they're working with AI to try to suggest rephrasing and stuff. I haven't used any of that, but I've used it for years to flag, like if I use the same word over and over and over again in my book, it will tell me that and then I can go and edit those down. Or if I've used the same phrase really close together, I can edit that down. I highly recommend it. I love it. 
you can, they have a couple of different pricing options. I believe I was paying like 70 bucks a year for a time. And then I just recently at a Black Friday sale, got a lifetime membership for $199.99. So for 200 bucks, and now I don't have to pay for it anymore. I do Black Friday sales every year. And so I recommend watching for sales like that because it makes it infinitely more affordable. I also use Grammarly to edit and find that very helpful when proofreading my books. I don't use Grammarly for any part of the process up until right before I publish, once I've already used a human editor, once I've used ProWritingAid, because Grammarly is great at flagging little things that ProWritingAid might not catch. ProWritingAid catches a lot of stuff, but it does not catch things like some repeated words. It drives me crazy because when I was publishing book one in my series, They Stay, I had like three human editors read it. I read it. I had like my family read it. Everyone was looking for typos. None of us caught these. I published the book and then I got like a handful, like three reviews saying like, oh, I loved the story, but there were some typos. And I was just like starting to feel really frustrated because I was like, everyone read this. I don't know why there are typos. And I had run it through Pro Writing Aid and it hadn't picked up on my typos, but then I actually ran it through Grammarly and I found these stupid little typos that everybody had been talking about and they were re repeated words. So it would be like, Miles and and Jonah went to the door. Like they were two ands, but when you read it quickly, you your brain fills in and knows what you're trying to say. But when someone else reads it, that is gonna become more apparent. It was a lot of double ands and double thes and like little tiny words like that. And I was able to pick up on all of those with Grammarly and delete them. And so it's still annoying because in my AI overview of the reviews on my sales page for book one, it now mentions some reviewers note editing problems. And I just wish I could take those down because I've fixed them and not anymore, but it is what it is. Grammarly has a free plan, but to get the level of detail I need to proofread, I need their pro plan, which is $12 a month when billed annually or $30 a month when billed monthly. I only use it when I'm proofreading my books. I don't use it for anything else. And so I just do the monthly subscription. I pay the $30, I proofread the book and then I cancel it. But it has saved me so much time and headache and I highly recommend it. And now I never publish a book unless I run all of the chapters through Grammarly ahead of time. You know, there are a million writing programs out there. And so if you use a program that I did not mention on this list, I would love to hear from you. If you wanted to leave me a comment down below and tell me what the program is and why you've chosen to use it, I would really love to hear that. And I know that these are not the only options available out there to writers. There are a lot of other ones that are way more specific and meet the needs of a very specific type of brain. And so if you found one that works really well for you, I'd love to hear what it is. And if other people in the comment section have a similar brain to yours, I'm sure they would appreciate it too. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have a second, I would be super grateful if you could like this video and also subscribe to my channel. My name is Claire Fraze and I'm an award-winning author who makes videos sharing actionable writing tips that helps me make my own writing better. I am the author of the five book paranormal thriller, They Stay series, which is displayed behind me and book one in the series they stay won the grand prize at the writer's digest self-published book awards in 2023 which i was very proud of i hope you have a good week everybody and as always happy writing